Hello and welcome to your own channel. Let's talk business once again. I am Ravi and let's start talking business. In this short session, I will try to cover how premium flows in the digital world, in the new digital world of Accord, eBot, Transactional and Financial Accounting and IPOS. So we are still covering Blueprint 2. The Blueprint 2 services are divided into three broad categories, transactional, full digital adaptation and additional services. We are right now covering full digital adaptation. And in this full digital adaptation, we have already covered CDR. In this short video presentation, we will try to cover IPOS ASG gateway. Well, I'm responding to the email messages which I'm getting from all the different YouTube viewers. So I'm not going sequentially. So I'm going based on the email responses I'm getting from the various YouTube subscribers. All right. So, but before getting into the premium moment, right, let's try to understand some of the important definition and concepts. CDR, we already know, CDR is a critical transactional data set that is required at the point of bind to automate four different processes or four important processes, premium validation, claim matching, tax calculation, and regulatory reporting. I have already covered the CDR in my previous video presentation, so you can go back and check it out. The second important thing is the IPOS system. Well, I'm going to cover the IPOS system in detail very soon, but just for the sake of this session, you have to understand what is this IPOS system all about. So IPOS system will be the new core digital solution for premium accounting and settlement orchestration for both open market and delegate authority. This system is going to replace the LIT system, which is there in the system from ages, at least from last 40 years. And IPOS is designed to handle the global system and it is not related to the UK only. So IPOS is basically helping the London market to reach out to the global insurance market by removing the Londonisms from the process. Then Accord, we will also cover the Accord in detail, but for the sake of this session, we have to understand the Accord acknowledgement. So we have four different type of acknowledgement within the Accord, L1 and L2. These are the transport level IT acknowledgement. Then we have L3 acknowledgement. And in the process, which I'm going to cover very soon in this presentation, we'll talk about this L3, L4 acknowledgement. But just to understand, right, L3 acknowledgement is an application level response or is a technical correctness and completeness of the masses. Then L4 is a business level response. So these are the couple of responses which we will be covering in our process flow. Then the ASG gateway or ADOPT. Well, Accord Solution Group was formed in 2016 as an industry-owned extension of Accord to address the critical challenges in insurance market. They have few major solutions like Accord Transcriber, which is for document digitization and automation. Then they have Accord Conductor for message transformation and orchestration, then Accord Converter they have for data transformation and straight through processing. And then they have a ADAPT, which is a secure digital data exchange, or we can also call this as a hub. And this platform is for real time data exchange, translation and transformation. It links the trading partner and provider data structure, validation and reconciliation. So very, very, very important or component to understand. Going forward, Accord eBot and eCord messages. So eBot stands for electronic back office transaction. It deals with the uses of Accord technical account and financial account messaging. eCord stands for electronic claim office transaction and it deals with the uses of Accord claim moment message and link with eBot message for completing the claim related payment. In order to understand this eBot, right, we have to understand the fact that eBot is a two stage message process for agreeing and closing the advice and settlement the data related to the insurance transaction. Okay. The first one is technical account and technical account is generated typically by the insurer or reinsurer's broker and then sent to the carrier of the risk. The message can be queried till the data is corrected and then accepted. Immediately after the TA, the second stage is agreeing the financial account which is a batch of agreeing TAs related to the same entities and the same currencies. 
and replicating the functionality of weekly and monthly settlement. Having the FAS and TA eliminate the problem related to the unallocated cash because you are real time matching the TAs and FAs and it will actually improve your cash reconciliation problem. So let's move ahead. Let's look at the process, how the premium is going to get flow in the new process. So broker, as we know, is our hero and main protagonist in the entire process. The broker will trigger the Accord eBot technical account. This technical account message will reach to the ASG Adopt Gateway. And here in this gateway, the message will get validated. If the message is absolutely all right and having no problem, the L3 acknowledgement will be sent back to the broker, acknowledging him that the message, the eBot transaction account message, what he sent is absolutely fine and accepted by the Accord ESG gateway, right? Then ESG gateway is leveraging the adopt to actually route the message to IPOS system. Now IPOS system, as I said earlier, is the International Premium Acquisition Services. This system will try to validate the eBot technical account message with the CDR. Okay. And we know that the CDR is a core data record, is a risk record. And then this retrieval and matching process will be happened through IPOS system. Once the eBot transaction account message is matched with the CDR. The level four acknowledgement will be sent back to the broker, intimating him everything is all good, message is properly accepted and matched. At the same time, two things will happen. The IPOS will send the version of that message, I mean the TA and the CDR combined together to the carrier to let them know that you know, whatever the information processed by the broker, or it can give them the early view of the technical account or the money which the carrier is expected to get. At the same time, the IPA system will also send that technical account message to the premium data store. And this premium data store will store the technical account message till the point where they will get the actual message, which is a financial message or FA message. So this is the typical step which is involved in the new world of premium flow. Considering the IPOS, ESG, eBot, CDR and premium data store. I hope you have gained some knowledge about it. I'll be keep on covering the other final aspect of the blueprint too. So stay tuned. Goodbye and take very good care of yourself. Bye bye.